Hey, man, we finally got some Sixers news. All right, let's get into it. All right, what's going on, everybody? So let's jump straight into the news. The Philadelphia Sixers have agreed to a deal with Dave Yeager to join Doc Rivers' staff as an assistant head coach. All right, so I'm not going to lie and act like I know too much about him, but from doing my research, um, he's a well-respected coach around the league. Uh, there was a lot more positive things said about him than negative. Uh, I know that um, the Clippers and Mavericks and those fan bases, they show some interest in him. I went on Twitter, I seen a bunch of Clippers fans and Pacers fans kind of upset that I guess their teams didn't hire him as the head coach. So he has some respect around the league, and there are people that really like him. All right, so a little on to his history before this news. He was usually a head coach. He wasn't an assistant head coach. He was used to being the main head coach. He coached the Grizzlies back in 2013, from 2013 through 2016, if I'm not right. I mean, if I'm not wrong. And then he was fired. So after that, he moved on to Sacramento in the 2017 season. And he stayed with them from 2017 through 2019. And then he was also fired. So back when he coached Memphis, back in 2013 through 16. Those three seasons, they were a respectable team in the league. They averaged about 50 wins every season, so they they weren't a bad team and basically a good team. Um, then when he went to Sacramento, wasn't the case, but he wasn't given a lot on the roster. Pretty bad teams all three years. Uh, two no three years he was there. Pretty bad rosters and not a lot to work with. The year before he got fired that season, uh, they had their best season so far with him, and a lot of people didn't think that was the right move. They thought things were trending upwards with him as a head coach. So he had respectable seasons as a coach and then went on to a team with not a great, a lot of talent, didn't do too well, which a lot of coaches can't do with a team with not a lot of talent. But when he was fired, a lot of people didn't think that was the right move anyway. Um, He's someone who has experience in coaching a different variety of styles and uh skill sets so i'm pretty sure that was another reason why they brought him in because this team has a bunch of different styles with ben simmons joel and a low block tobias harris it's a bunch of things that needs helping to figure out and get to mesh so i'm pretty sure that was a reason in bringing him in doc gave him some good words back in 2019 he has said that basically he was one of the toughest coaches in the game at the time to game plan against. And it was stated that a lot of teams and no one really wanted to play Sacramento back in that 2018 through 19 season. I'm um, pretty sure because of they fought hard every night and it was just, it was a hard battle game every time you had to play them. So a lot of teams actually didn't like playing against that team because it was, they came out there fighting, even with the lack of talent they really had on those rosters. So those are some good things. So my main opinion on this hiring is positive. I'm happy that we, we're getting new people in this coaching room and on this roster, just new voices, different voices, different faces, because this team desperately needed that. So basically, I, I'll have to see more, obviously. I have to learn more and wait to the season to really give my two cents on him. But as long as he can come in here, get the guys to work hard, grind, play hard every game, and help Doc develop Ben Joel, just get their skill sets to mesh and just bring out the best in this team and the people that we have on this roster, hey, man, you, you know I'm going to love it. So right now, it's positive from the things I've heard. But like you said, you got to see. You got to get some time with it. And we'll see in the season. So let me know what y'all think about this hiring. <clears throat> down in the comments excuse me i had to clear my throat but let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below and i'm vaughn and thank you for tuning in to vaughn talks podcast enjoy your day peace